Scheduler makes it easy to quickly create and schedule professional-looking Grafana reports. Scheduler's intuitive UI, customizable templates, and powerful report engine help you share reports with your stakeholders without breaking the bank. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use Scheduler to create, schedule, and generate a Grafana report in PDF format using Grafana's dashboard layout. I'm signed into Scheduler, and from my Reports dashboard, I'll click Create Report, then choose Visual Report. The report is untitled by default, which I'll change later. I don't have any data sources set up yet, so I'll click Connect to Data Source and choose Grafana. I'll enter a name for the data source and the URL for my Grafana environment. This URL only needs the HTTP or HTTPS with the domain and the port. The dashboard part of the URL does not need to be included. If your server is not SSL enabled, you can skip the SSL verification step. You can also enable CA and client certification, which requires a certificate path and key. I'll turn off both and continue. I'll keep Enable Authentication on, and I can choose a basic login or an API login. For either type, the user logging in must have an admin role in Grafana. For API login, I need to enter the API key generated from Grafana. I'll choose Basic Login and enter my username and password. After clicking Next, Scheduler will connect to my Grafana dashboard, where I can choose my organization and dashboard. The default load time for the dashboard is 180 seconds, but I can customize the time if the data will take longer to load. Below this, I can keep the default theme or choose a light or dark theme. I could customize my report layout, but I'll choose Dashboard Layout so that the report will replicate my Grafana dashboard format. There are several options for time filter, but I'll use the Dashboard Time window. I'll click Save, and the next step is to customize the report. This is how my Grafana dashboard report would look, with this header and footer. The dashboard itself will be rendered in the space between the header and footer. I can make changes to this layout, such as replacing the logo. I'll select and delete the current logo, then go to Images, where I can upload an image or use one I've already uploaded. From here, I can drag it onto the report and size and place as needed. To customize the report title, I can double click in the text field and enter my own title, or start with a dollar sign and go back to the auto generated report title parameter. Date time and time window are also auto-generated parameters. I can also add my own text box by opening the text options, dragging in a subheading, and editing and resizing. Right-clicking on a text box opens an options menu where I can change font, color, size, spacing, etc. Right-clicking in the solid color boxes of the header and footer opens menus where I can change fill and border colors. Now is also a good time to assign the report a name. To see how my report looks, I'll click Preview. This opens the preview in a separate browser tab, and generating the preview may take a moment or two depending on the amount of data. All of the changes I made appear in the preview, the charts come from my Grafana dashboard, and the auto parameters are correctly filled in. Returning to the report set up in Scheduler, now that the design is complete, I'll proceed to the next step, which is Schedule. Recurrence can be hourly, daily, weekly, etc., and I'll choose Daily, with a start time of 8.15, to repeat every day, but I'll switch to weekdays to avoid weekends. The export format will be PDF. I'll save the schedule settings, and the next step is to set up automated distribution. I'll choose to set up a mail notification channel, name the channel SendGrid, and choose the SendGrid service. After entering the rest of my SendGrid credentials, I can choose to include the admin in all notifications, check over the admin message that will be sent out if the generated report has no data, and send a test email to be sure that all looks correct. I'll save the notification channel settings, and I'll choose the SendGrid channel I just completed. I'll enter a recipient, and could add a CC or BCC. The subject is already filled in with the report name parameter, and I'll use dollar signs to add the date and time parameters to the subject. I've also edited the email body, 
and included parameters for the report name and dashboard URL. At the bottom of this window, I can choose to generate a warning email if Scheduler is unable to generate the report. This could result from an error in the report itself or a dashboard loading issue. I just need to specify who will receive this warning email and edit the subject or body if needed. I'll save the distribution settings, and now that the report is configured and scheduled, I'll click Done. This returns me to my reports dashboard, where my scheduled report now appears. The download icon can be used to get the latest version of the report, and I can click Generate Now to get the latest version without waiting for the next scheduled time. Clicking the three-dot icon opens a menu with options to edit, rename, or duplicate the report, pause the distribution, generate the latest version without waiting for the next scheduled time, mail the report now, change the schedule, or share with other team members. Choosing History will show all versions of the report that have been sent out, and there is also a Delete option. Scheduler makes it effortless to create and automate sharing of Grafana reports. Ready to automate your Grafana reports? Download Scheduler from scheduler.com download.